today's lesson is a lesson on how to pick up the canner and how to tell if you're on the correct lead. Just like with the trot where we look for our diagonals, with the canner we look for what's called leads. And leads are very important uh, when you're riding because they are a matter of balance. And when you're on the correct lead, um, your turning and your corners, everything will feel much better than when you're on the incorrect lead. Okay, <clears throat> so when we're cantering, when a horse is cantering, uh, they have one leg that leads the way. It's either their right front leg or their left front leg. And that's why we call it a lead. Now, if you're going to the right, and that means the horse's right leg is on the inside of its circle, then you want the horse's right front leg to be the lead, all right? It'll be the one that's farthest out when you're cantering. <clears throat> and when you're going the opposite direction, when you're going to the left, and the horse's left front leg is on the inside of the circle, then you want the left leg to lead the way, and that will be the correct lead that direction. But first, let's figure out how to pick up a canter. You can pick up your canter from a halt, a walk, or a trot. The one thing you don't want to do is pick up your canter from a posting trot because that confuses the horse. The horse knows that when you're going up and down at a trot, they're trotting. They would expect the canter to always come from a sitting position. Okay, so if you're picking it up from a trot, you're going to do it from a sitting position. So we're going to start, the easiest way to get your canter um, when you're first learning is from a sitting trot. Now it does depend on the horses. Some horses are very well broke and canter very easily from the walk. So really you have to play that, you know, according to the horse that the rider's on. But a lot of times I'll have the rider when they're first learning to canter, they'll have them on a lunge line or in a round pin. And I will help them to get the canter because they'll be, uh, worried enough about just getting the canner and, and uh, not really thinking about steering and all those other things that come into play. So, um, and I never have a rider canner until they have a very solid sitting trot position because if they're flopping everywhere at a sitting trot, the canner is really going to unseat them and they're more likely to fall off or have a bad experience. So until they have a good sitting trot position, I don't let them canner. All right, so, but when they're ready to canter, and that's always an exciting day, we go ahead and we have them on a circle and we go ahead and pick up a sitting trot. And you'll see this rider has a good sitting position. This is a bouncy horse, so he's got a pretty rough sitting trot. And when we go to pick up the canter, what the aids are to get the correct lead is the outside leg of this rider is going to go a little bit behind the girth. She's going to stay sitting straight up just like she's in a chair. She'll lift up just a little bit with her inside rein, that would be her right hand, and then she'll squeeze with both legs, okay? Now, and that outside leg is what tells them which lead to pick up. Okay, so a beginner isn't really necessarily gonna know about leads, but they're just gonna be trying to pick up the canner and you teach them the correct way to pick up the canner. And the one thing you wanna make sure of is that you don't lean forward and try to kick and you don't post and try to kick because your horse is going to be confused. So ideally, we're going to get a canter just like this rider. She's going to squeeze with her left outside leg and her inside leg with a little inside hand and she's going to go right into the canter. And this horse, if you look closely, we're going to the right because his right leg's on the inside and if you, that right front leg is leading the way. So here this horse is cantering on the correct lead. And the way the rider can tell is she's going to peek down with her eyes and look at that front right shoulder. And a beginner might have to look a little longer. They're going to look for that right shoulder going forward. Okay? And when the horse is going forward, that right shoulder should really be moving forward. And that's how you tell if you're on the correct lead. The other way to tell is when you're going around a corner on the incorrect lead, it feels very unbalanced. Okay? And then that's another way and you can break to the trot and change your lead. Okay, let's go back to a walk. Pet your horse. Okay. Now once a rider has um, advanced enough and they can get that canter um, very well from the trot, or maybe you had them pick up from the walk, but let's say you started with picking up the canter from the sitting trot. Um, when they get strong enough, where they're, they're not bouncing so much and they can steer really well, then you can try to get the canter from a walk position. Um, so, well, from walking, a walking gait. So it's the same exact cue. You're going to take your left leg behind the girth this direction. You're going to squeeze with both legs, lift up with the right hand just a little bit, but you stay tall in your seat looking up and you're going to ask the horse to canter from a walk. So no trot steps, 
No posting, no leaning forward. And go ahead and walk. She's going to wake him up a little bit. So that way he's paying attention. And go right from a walk. There we go. And that was a pretty good one. There was maybe one or two trot steps there. He's being a little ornery. She's going to look down. She's on the correct lead. And the easiest way, sometimes if your horse has a hard time getting a lead, it's easier to pick up your lead on a corner than on a straightaway. If you're on a straightaway, you have to be very careful to balance your horse. Let's go ahead and walk. When you're on a straightaway, you want to make sure the horse's head isn't turned to the outside. Um, and you want to make sure that their body is in a, as straight a line as possible or bending to the inside just a little bit, okay? But if you're having difficulties getting a correct lead, always go to wait till you're corner to about right here and before you ask to get the canner. And that's going to help encourage your horse to drop in on that inside leg. So let's change directions and we're going to pick up the left lead because we're going to be going to the left. The horse's left leg is on the inside of the circle. Okay, so we'll go from a sit, well, no, we'll do the walk first, and then we'll do the sitting trot one. So she's going to look up. Now she's got her horse bent to the left. Her left hand is up slightly. Her right leg is behind the girth a little bit, but she's not falling forward. She might shift her hips to the outside just a little bit to shift the weight to the right. That helps encourage the horse to go to the... Um, so she's going to lift her inside hand up, put her right leg behind the um, girth, and she's going to ask for the canner. She wants the left lead leading the way. Go ahead and canner. And if you listen, she actually kisses. You can teach your horse to canner to a kiss. If every time you pick up the canner, you give a little kiss sound, <clears throat> you can train your horse so that when you make a kiss sound, if you're consistent, uh, that they'll pick up the canner. But that takes some time before they're very responsive to that. But you don't use that for anything else, and that's how they learn. <laughs> what you'll see here is this horse's left front leg is leading the way. She can peek down and check. She's looking at that left front shoulder to make sure it's the farthest out every time he's going forward, and she's on the correct lead. And back to a walk. <clears throat> very good. So those are the basics about picking up the canner and knowing what leads you're on. So important things are is to remember is that don't try to canter until you have a solid seat at a sitting trot. That means you're not bouncing all over, you're not yanking them in the mouth, and your leg is pretty tight. Once you have that seat, then you're pretty safe to canter. And you go ahead and pick up your canter. When you go to canter, just like when you go to trot, you don't pull on their mouth. You can give a little support, but if you're pulling back when you're trying to tell them to go forward, they, they are confused. They don't understand. Um, when you're cantering, try to rock your seat in. You don't want to be bouncing on their back real hard because that'll be upsetting and they might get fast. Um, once you have a good canter and you... Um, are comfortable at the canter, then you can worry about what lead you're on. <clears throat> because when you're just learning to canter, you really don't want to worry about leads because you need to be thinking about steering and sitting up. Then when you're ready for your lead, just remember your aids. Going to the left, you want the left front leg. Going to the right, you want the right front leg leading the way. And to do that, you take your outside leg behind the girth, your inside hand a little support. You can shift your hips to the outside a little bit and squeeze, okay? And you know if they go, if you have to get it from a trot, get it from a sitting trot. Don't post the trot, don't lean forward because you're putting your weight um, where it doesn't belong. It makes it harder for the horse to canter. So just so you can see, let's halt for a minute, how far back the leg goes behind the girth is not very far. So if she's picking up the lead, She's going to slide that right leg back about right there when she's asking for the canter. So here, as opposed to keeping her leg here. So do that again. Here, that's how far back it goes, as opposed to her normal position. All right, and you can see her normal position is straight down beneath her. All right, so that's our lesson for today. Good luck and happy riding.